This inequality question we are given A, B, C are non-negative such that the sum is equal to 1. We are asked to show this expression is not more than half. First of all, we know that each of these terms are related to the form of x over x plus 1 where x is greater than or equal to 0. Then we know that this term will be less than or equal to x plus 1 over 4 because of AMGM inequality. Say that x plus 1 square is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1. Since x square plus 1 is greater or equal to 2x plus 2x that is equal to 4x. And since x is positive, then we can we can write into this form here. And because of this, now it is easy to get the answer because a over 2a plus 1 is equal to half 2a over 2a plus 1. And this will be less than or equal to half 2a plus 1 over 4. And for b over 3b plus 1, it is equal to 1 over 3, 3b over 3b plus 1, less or equal to 1 over 3, then 3b plus 1 over 4. Last but not least, c over 6c plus 1 is equal to 1 over 6, 6c over 6c plus 1. It is less than or equal to 1 over 6, 6c plus 1 over 4. Now when you add up everything and call this as j, then j will be less than or equal to the sum of these three terms. We can have 1 over 24 for each of these, and we will see that this will equal to 3 of 2a plus 1, and this is 2 of 3b plus 1, and this is 1 of 6c plus 1. Let me continue here. And for this, j will be less than or equal to 1 over 24. Um, we have 6a, 6b, and 6c. So that is 6a, b, and c. And that is 3, 2, and 1 plus 6. Since the sum of a, b, c equals 1, so this is 6 plus 6, that is 12, 12 over 24, it means that j will be less than or equal to 1 over 2. And with this, we have shown the inequality. As usual, we also need to check when the equality holds. Let me continue here. Equality holds if and only if, for this case, x has to be equal to 1. And therefore, for this case, 2a has to be equal to 1. 3b has to be equal to 1, and 6c has to be equal to 1, which means that a, b, c has to be equal to half 1 over 3 and 1 over 6. And from here, we can see that the sum of a, b, c is exactly equal to 1, and it means that the value 1 over 2 is achievable. You can check by putting a equals to half, b equals to 1 over 3, and c equals to 1 over 6, and you will get j is equal to 1 over 2. As usual, I prepared one similar question for you to try on. Please work it out and check your answer in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's all for today. See you again. Bye-bye.